An average Indian can consume nearly 6 kg rice a month. To cater to this demand, India produces 85 million tons of rice, ranking second in terms of production world over. With a swelling billion plus population, varying range of micronutrient deficiencies prevail in India. Fortifying rice is an acceptable, easy and efficient process to provide essential micronutrients to the masses. In India, we have nearly 1.4 lakh rice mills of which majority are small and over 35,000 are modern rice mills. An active industry participation is essential to ensure that India wins the battle against micronutrient malnutrition. Fortifying rice is simple and clinically proven by the National Institute of Nutrition. Rice in India is fortified using extrusion technology. The brokens from the rice milling process are used as a raw material. A mill grinds the broken rice grains to make rice flour. It is then mixed with the premix of essential vitamins and minerals in a flour mixer. They are mixed layer by layer for even and effective mixing. The mixture then travels to the pre-conditioner where steam is added to the mixture. The screw conveyor lifts the mixture to the feeding hopper where water is incorporated. The temperature and moisture content of the mixture is constantly checked with the temperature moisture detector gun during the process. The hopper feeds the mixture into a twin screw extruder. The mixture travels through the main motor, the feeding motor and the cutting motor within the extruder. It is crucial to maintain the temperature and pressure in the extruder and the speed of the motors to attain the perfect result. After manufacturing, the kernels through the pneumatic line travel through the vibratory dryer and then to the multi-layer dryer. The kernel after drying pass through the screener also called vibro separator to check and remove any extraneous matter. Enhancing the quality check, the kernels are passed through the permanent bar magnet to check presence of any metal substance. To doubly assure its quality, a sample is collected for quality check. Collected in one ton bags, the fortified rice kernels are now ready to be mixed with milled rice through blending process. Depending on the size of the rice mill, manufacturer may choose batch mixing or continuous mixing. Not all the rice mills need to install an extrusion line to make fortified rice kernels. Most rice mills can procure FRKs from these manufacturers and install a blending unit to produce fortified rice. The kernels after blending are again taken for quality check to ensure the kernels are well blended. The blend is near perfect and the final product is no different from the milled rice even after cooking. Fortification costs 40 paisa to 1.3 rupees per person per day depending upon the cost and types of nutrients added. Fortified rice reduces vitamin and mineral deficiency also known as hidden hunger. Early and mass adoption of rice fortification is critical to ensure a healthier generation. Easy but effective rice fortification is a simple way to fortify our future.